Today we are going to see how easy it is to 3D scan an object using Shining 3D's Einstar Scanner. We are going to be scanning this PlayStation controller in order to make a mold for the bottom half for a game called Family Feud. This will help the players so they will not have to hold the controller as they play. With a larger than normal field of view and scanning up to 14 frames per second, the Einstar is nothing to scuff at. Being the new entry level 3D scanner, this is definitely worth a look if you are in the market for one. For this project, we pick some orange TPU from Overture. This is going to make a nice soft mold that is nearly indestructible. If you have not tried to print with TPU before, you're in for a treat. Not the easiest to print with, but very rewarding. Second choice is a budget PLA. We use this for most of our prototype prints. PLA is a staple food of most 3D printers, if you did not know. Very easy to print with, not as strong as TPU, but it does not flex and sometimes that is what you need. First, we're going to 3D scan the controller using the Einstar. After our first couple of scans, we ran into some trouble. The surface is very reflective and it does not pick up good data. As a solution, we can just cover the controller in baby powder. There are specialty sprays out there, but they are quite expensive. And if you don't mind the smell of baby powder, go for it. We make sure that we scan all the sides and collect as much data as possible. It is okay for this scan not to get all the data because the software is really good at filling in those blanks. After a few scans, we continue to the alignment stage. The software does most of the heavy lifting for us, but if needed, we can always manually align the data. Next, we are going to mesh the model, which can take anywhere from 1 to 10 minutes, depending on the size of your scan and your system specifications. After we have our scan data in the form of an STL, we can import it into Lumen 3D. Now, let me tell you, if you've never heard about Lumen 3D, I would say go check it out. Links in the description. First, we import the STL, go to cocoon mode, select the clearance and shape, and export. We need to add some negative shapes to make some cutouts, otherwise the controller will not slide in place due to its shape. We're just going to use Bamboo Studio and it makes it very easy by using negative shapes. After a few minutes or two, we have the results. But now I say enough talking, let's get to printing. Here we have it, the perfect holder for our controller. We printed one in PLA2 and oh man, does that controller fit tight in there. Next time we'll make the clearance a little bit larger and you can even see the black scuff marks for me trying to pry it out. Out of the two, my favorite would have to be the TPU one. Feel free to comment down below and let me know, maybe you wanna see it printed in a different material. There are links in the description to our Cult 3D page and website. We're going to be launching our Patreon soon where we'll be providing models as well as training to make those models. So be sure to check us out. This turned out so great with minimal effort. Instar did not let us down. See how we can mash the button and the controller barely moves? Exactly what we wanted. All in all, I would call this a success. There was a little bonus I wanted to show you today. We had a failed print and it produced some interesting results. It is very soft yet sturdy and I'm thinking it would be a great perfect base for a 3D printed shoe. We will store this one away for a future video. As you can see, the TPU is very strong, but it's difficult to print with because of its flexible nature. There was a lot of cleanup due to the stringing. With some tuning, we could get better results. This part cost us $5 Canadian in material to print. If you want to see a review and unboxing of the Einstar, go check out this video. In our next video, we'll be using the scanner to scan our hands and make a custom phone or tablet holder for your desk. If you want to print this PS controller, links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.